in brief as we have said atmosphere is mixture of uh, gases and also dust particles so this uh, are very dynamic and condition and uh, they are so dynamic that they move in all directions like up and down east to west west to east so in all directions they all you know it's not like you know in one condition so this kind of atmospheric changes if you observe within a day or in a very shorter duration like for 10 days so we call the condition of this atmosphere is you know like weather the weather condition is cold weather condition is too hot all these things so when you observe this kind of changes at decades of time like you know uh, for a longer duration at least you know for 3 4 months so we say uh, the climate so the climate is nothing but atmospheric conditions like temperature pressure wind directions humidity and the precipitation so these parameters put together for you know if we observe these parameters for longer duration for decades of time so we call as the climate of that particular area is so at the same time the weather also that area means it's a it may be a within a day process or in a within the 10 days 15 days a period not beyond that beyond that means again it's a climate interestingly uh, the temperature so if you go upwards like if you are climbing the mountains if you are going the if you are increasing the altitude level from the sea level so if you are going uh, towards you know upper side like you know climbing the mountains you feel the temperature is going down so that means the temperature effects and the in the, the wind part if you increase the altitude or height you feel the temperature will decrease the temperature will decrease that means if you are going uh, above uh, you know mountain you feel the lesser relatively from the the ground level the pressure effect also you know having the effect on the climate and the wind so the humidity humidity is nothing but the water vapor content in the air is nothing but the humidity so if you feel if it is the water vapor is more in the uh, air you say that there is a high humidity and this uh, uh, where you get it near by the sea this water will evaporated in the atmosphere this evaporation in the form of water vapor mix it with the air and this will become a more highly humid more you know heavy in nature relatively and at the same time if the number of uh, in desert area for example you don't find the humidity because water vapor is totally almost it's uh, very less in the air so the device which you measure the amount of water vapor present in the air is called the hygrometer with the help of hygrometer one can calculate what is the that area humidity whether it is low or high so hygrometer so precipitation so in this precipitation once this water vapor goes upward and mixed with the air you uh, this uh, is a Uh, once if it reaches 100% this water vapor content in that air we call as critical temperature at this critical temperature this complete air is becoming 100% of water vapor or water drop and that water drop which is you know in the air you get you call as a dew also you we call a dew point dew point or critical temperature is the temperature at which this water is fully you know 100% it's uh, in the air it is that hygrometer measures that's 100% uh, humidity means 100% water vapor is available in present in that air you get the dew point dew what droplet you will find and that temperature is nothing but critical temperature now we understand about the condensation process so in the atmosphere we feel this condensation 
like it's exactly opposite to the evaporation as we have learned from the sea the water which is in the liquid form is due to the heat from the sun this water is evaporated evaporate that means from liquid to it is becoming gas so this evaporation process makes uh, this water as a water vapor and also this is from the sea and from the plants is leaves again due to the heat they also transpiration is uh, again they also form water vapor but the process from the plants we call as a transpiration so due to transpiration we get the water vapor in the atmosphere and due to evaporation we get the water vapor so this water vapor which is present in the atmosphere with the once if it touches with the the external particles like dust particles they will become a uh, you know a water droplet so because the water vapor molecule condense so that means the condensation process takes place in the condensation process water vapor will become water droplet so once if this uh, droplets the uh, minute millions of droplets we see about the uh, you know uh, in, in, in the atmosphere we call as a clouds so these clouds are nothing but droplets millions of droplets condense together you know combine together and they move so this uh, is the condensation and if you want to see uh, this example for example if you pour a cold water in a glass you feel outside the glass very minute particles you can see that is the uh, droplets because you have not uh, taken uh, the glass uh, which is already you know like uh, wet but you feel it is wet after some time once if you pour the cold water inside so this is water droplets is nothing but it is condensation of this water vapor similarly as we have uh, uh, discussed these plants you know uh, due to the sunlight due to transpiration they are becoming water vapor similarly on that leaf if it touches with the leaf particles in that cold temperatures this water vapor again will form a a minute a droplet of this water which we call as a dew the reason why you find dews on the leaves in the winter season because the saturation of this water vapor is becoming 100% the relative humidity is becoming 100% and once if it touches the dust particle or the leaf so that will form the dew so you can feel the dew on the leaves in winter season